The Volta River Authority VARA will be investing heavily in technology from next year to improve power efficiency. The process, when successful, will translate into a low cost of generating power, thereby breaking down electricity tariffs. After addressing stakeholders at its 10th stakeholder interface in Accra, Chief Executive of the VRA, Emmanuel Enchidakwa, told Joy Business that Ghanaians will experience a more efficient power supply at cheaper cost. Here's more. The Volta River Authority in the last few years has been able to reduce its legacy debts and generate some revenue from power generation. Its chief executive, Emmanuel Enchidakwa, told stakeholders that the company has made progress in diversifying its operations to make use of modern technology. In an interview with Joy Business, he said the VRA is undergoing transformation which will inure to the benefit of consumers. You use digitization to help optimize your, your, your operations. Let's say you make the decision to minimize your costs, use digitization or you leverage technology to be able to do that. So that is the way we want to go. And I think that Gridco is doing some work that a lot of people don't know about. They're trying to develop a smart grid. Okay, what a smart grid does is you use technology to do most of the things that we manually do with the grid today. So Gridco is working on that. We want to take advantage of that to be able to improve how we deliver power to our customers. That's essentially what digitization is meant for us. So apart from our own internal efficiency improvement, in our delivery to our, our customers as well too, we want to use digitization, leverage it, leverage our IT investments to make sure that uh, the customer gets the product, which is electricity, in the best manner, in a reliable manner, and at the least cost. Chief Executive of the State Interest and Governance Authority, Stephen Asamoa Boateng, speaking on the performance of the VRE, noted that discussions are underway for government to receive some dividends. Through the performance contract negotiation with all the SOEs and the state institutions, we, we, we discuss how they can, they can make profits, obviously. Um, as I said, they grow their revenue, cut down the costs and, and cut down or eliminate waste and all those things give you the trajectory of, of profitability and of course uh, when you do that the dividend is, is the obvious outcome that the state derives it and when the state get a dividend it goes to help the people of Ghana that's all the idea about dividend so it's not dividend for me or for SIGA or for anybody it's, it's to get the money into the state coffers from our operations of state businesses and then we can do the roads, we can do the hospitals without going to borrow and pay interest, huge interest. So I am very hopeful that we are giving indication next year they will post profit. The interface was to apprise key stakeholders of the authority's operational and financial performance in 2019.